Remember that no matter what, if you have a geometry question, you really want to have some sort of picture. So if they don't give you one, make it, right? You got scratch paper. So the length of a rectangle's diagonal is 3 root 17. So let's make a, a little bit of a rectangle here. And the diagonal is just connecting the opposite corners. So that's 3 root 17. And the length of the rectangle's shorter side is 3. What is the length of the rectangle's longer side? Okay, so uh, we can just recognize here, hopefully, that if it's a rectangle, we have 90 degree angles. So this is a right triangle. And we could use the reference chart. They do give us this formula, but you probably should know that anytime you have two sides of a right triangle, we can get the third using Pythagorean theorem. What I learned as a squared plus b squared is c squared. Now on the reference chart, they stupidly or weirdly put the c first for some reason. It doesn't really matter. The point is it's got to be alone. And the C refers to the hypotenuse. So this is a very common mistake. A lot of you really want just to put all the numbers on one side of an equation or a formula, but that's not how it works. We have to think about what those letters represent and where things go based on that. So the three root 17, that's the C. The three doesn't matter. We can make that the A or the B because the legs are kind of interchangeable, but uh, it's gotta make sure, you gotta make sure you put the three root 17 in the right place. So this is 3 squared plus b squared equals 3 root 17 squared. Now, you could go to the calculator here. And if you do, you just got to make sure you're putting things in parentheses. At this point, if you just swapped the b for an x in Desmos, you could actually solve this very easily without doing any algebra whatsoever. But for the sake of practice, let's do it. These are good moves to know how to make. Specifically, um, squaring a radical, I think we got to make sure we know how to do. It, it kind of gets distributed because this squaring is going to be uh, based on multiplication. So we kind of have to do the square to both parts. So uh, this part's easy, right? Nine. Oop, I don't know why I need to still square it. Don't need to do that. Nine is three squared and then plus B squared. And um, then it's going to be nine is three squared times 17. But that 17 is in a square root. So when we multiply it just becomes a regular old 17. So radical 17 times radical 17, regular old 17. So uh, that part I'm going to use the regular calculator for. So 9 times 17 is 153. So 9 plus b squared is 153. Subtract 9, subtract 9. That gives me b squared is 144. And that one I know without having to do it in the calculator, take the square root of both sides and b is 12. So that's right here. And that's what they wanted, right? Double check, make sure you're not asked for like the perimeter or something, but no, they want the length of the side. So 12 works and that's that. Uh, as again, this is a case where the college board classifies this as a hard question. I do not, this is medium difficulty. This is basic geometry, basically one formula we're using. You've gotta be comfortable identifying the right formula and moving quickly through it. And yes, you could have shortened this by using the calculator. I'm gonna be very clear. I probably would have done that on the Desmos and just let it kind of solve it for me. But um, yeah, it's good to know how to do this otherwise. In fact, let me just show you the Desmos. I'm talking about it so much, right? Here's what I would have done. I would have done three squared plus X squared equals parentheses three radical 17 and go out of those parentheses. You got to make sure you're squaring the right thing though. And you see it all disappeared. But if I move over, there it is right? X equals 12. And because there's only one variable, it's giving to, it to me as a, um, a straight line. Now I think there's going to be a negative 12 over here. Yeah. But remember you can't have a negative dimension. So that doesn't make any sense. So there you go. So I would have done that just because I'm lazy and why risk making a mistake, but yeah, you should know how to square a radical. That's the, the important thing to take away.